My mother, God rest her soul, she died a month before Thanksgiving. And I'll never forget the first Thanksgiving after her passing. I just closed my eyes, got in the kitchen, I said, everything you taught me, please let me figure it out and do it now. And ever since then, I always cook a really good Thanksgiving meal. So I'm in the, I'm in the kitchen and my dad is 97 years old and he appreciates that meal when I cook it. I'm from New Orleans, so you gotta do a pot of gumbo, then you gotta do stuffed bell peppers. I do a turkey. The key to a moist turkey is the oven bag. Always use an oven bag. Then I love to do shrimp and crab in a, a squash uh, casserole. So you cook the squash, you put the shrimp and crab meat, <laughs> and then you put it in a baking dish and put a little breadcrumbs on the top and put it in and heat it up 350 for about 15 minutes. And when I first left New Orleans and went to someone's house and they said, do you like squash? I said, yeah. And when I saw those little discs come out, I was like, well, what's this? That's not squash. <laughs> where's, where's the crab meat and shrimp? And I make my own cranberry sauce. Cranberries, a little sugar, a little water, cook it down. 10 minutes is great. Not out of the can with the ridges. If it's wet, I drink it. Brown liquor, clear liquor, wine, champagne, water. Yes. You know, you're trying to get into a cultural debate. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. I eat pumpkin pie and sweet potato pie. It's not either or, it's both and. And if you're up north in Minnesota, you gotta have a little rhubarb pie. Ah. Uh.